If you're looking for a high-end tablet for work, for animation, for drawing, or basically anything else, you should definitely have a closer look at the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2. It's not only the slimmest and most lightweight tablet I've seen in this category, it also features an amazing display, it's perfect for drawing, and it's powerful enough to handle basically everything you throw at it. So here comes my full review of the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2. The MatePad Pro 13.2 is big, Thin, comes with an OLED screen, powerful with the Kirin 9000W chip, Harmony OS and great accessories like the smart magnetic keyboard with a touchpad and the M-Pencil stylus in the third generation. Screen-wise it has the most beautiful OLED screen I've seen on the tablet with a 94% screen to body ratio, 2880 x 1920 pixels, 10-bit color depth, HDR10 support and 144Hz of refresh rate. It is a notched panel so it can host a front 16 megapixel camera and a TOF 3D setup for secure facial unlock. Also it's one of the brightest screens with over 770 nits in auto mode, so outdoor viewing in sunlight is no problem at all. One of the highlight features is its 6 powerful speakers with Huawei sound support. It's really crazy how powerful this tablet sounds and I couldn't really believe it first because it's only 5.5mm thick and weighs only 580 grams. There are two cameras at the back of the MatePad Pro 13.2, a 13 megapixel primary and an 8 megapixel ultra wide. Now cameras on a tablet are not really priority, but those cameras are pretty decent and take great pictures even in difficult lighting situations like against the sun. Also you can record videos in up to 4K 30fps and it has a decent microphone quality for doing video calls. And of course the MatePad Pro 13.2 features also a massive 10,100 mAh battery and the tablet supports up to 88 watts of fast wired charging. Harmony OS is clean and gives a lot of laptop-like usage. The multitasking is great, the system apps too and overall the whole system is fast and intuitive. There is no desktop mode but many smart tricks included in Harmony OS like split screen multitasking and even multi-device collaboration. Especially for creative work, the tablet really shines. The new Huawei M Pencil in the third generation with Nearlink technology is not only fast without any lag, it's also very accurate and supports over 10,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. I'm not good in drawing but it felt amazing, especially for taking notes or doing scripts while watching some video in split screen mode. The keyboard case is actually a two-part case that can split, with the back flap with a kickstand separating from the actual keyboard case. The keyboard also connects to the tablet wirelessly over Bluetooth and can be charged just by the magnetic connection, and it gives plenty of options on how to use the tablet in a laptop-like feel. Overall, the MatePad Pro 13.2 is an excellent tablet, perfect for most use cases, but may feel different from your previous tablet experience. However, if you really look for a high-end tablet, check it out and try it. So let's have a closer look now. So guys, it's time for a quick hands-on with the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 and this is a crazy high-tech tablet. Now I've never used something like this because I'm actually a big fan of the Huawei MatePad paper. Now I use it a lot for sketches, for scripts, for taking notes, whatever, for technical drawings, because this thing is unbelievable good for my use case. Now it's 2024, so who actually uses paper to take notes? I don't know anyone that still takes notes on paper, most people on the phone, and I really love the Huawei MatePad paper for it. Anyhow, now switching or trying out the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2, there are a lot of different opportunities what you can do on this tablet because it is crazy powerful and it features an incredible screen. So inside of the tablet we have a flexible OLED screen. Now don't get this wrong, the tablet or the screen it's not flexible but it just means probably like the screen is very thin to make the tablet also very thin because this is absolutely nuts. Now um, the screen itself is very bright, is super colorful, you have amazing viewing angles because it's an OLED screen, you have amazing black levels and there is 94% screen to body ratio. If you check this out, very thin bezels, if you compare this with any other flagship tablets, this looks like from the future. There's also a notch of course because we have very thin bezels but the notch 
first I didn't even notice it. After some time I noticed, hey, there is a camera. So screen to body ratio looks really, really amazing. I'm not sure if you noticed it, but the screen ratio is three by two. So it's not 16 by 10 like most other tablets. And Huawei says this is better for vertical text content and table rows. And yeah, it absolutely makes sense. Now speakers on the left, speakers on the right and the Type-C charging port, volume keys up here and the power button for turning it on or off for the AI assistant is right over here and as well microphones also placed here. Now there is no SIM card option but anyhow it's still a fantastic tablet. Now let's check out the rear. So we have two cameras right over here. Um, also, we have a front-facing camera right over here. So this makes three cameras on the tablet. And honestly, most people don't really expect good camera quality on a tablet because that's not the main thing. Most people would use the smartphone, then just send it to the tablet if they need to. But um, the camera quality is pretty decent. So it's actually good. Now, um, this here was in my garden. And as you can see, um, there's still plenty of detail, even if you zoom in. So it's definitely not on the level like a P-series flagship smartphone um, when it comes to the camera, but it's a nice camera that deals really good with different lighting condition here, even directly against the sun. So especially if you're using it for work, sometimes you have to take photograph something and send it in an email or something. And you can do that with the tablet, so that's absolutely fine. Also for video calls, well, um, the cameras are doing a really good job. So um, now let's have a closer look on what you can actually find inside of the box because it comes already with some accessories. So here we have the charger. It's an 88 watt charger, dual charger, as you can see with USB-A and also Type-C. And the tablet supports also this 88 watt wired supercharging by Huawei. And with that, it can charge to 85% in just 40 minutes. Now, even if you just charge it for 10 minutes, so 10 minute quick charge is enough for watching a movie and it can be fully charged um, to 100% in just 65 minutes. So it's always mind blowing what charging technology Huawei puts in their devices. And especially for a tablet charging times like this, this is absolutely great. So other than that, there is actually nothing inside of the box. Now let me quickly show you the Huawei M Pencil. Now this is the third generation, the latest generation, and it features near link technology. So what does that mean? There is 10,000 level of pressure sensitivity. I think the previous generation was 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. So this is now more than double and you definitely feel the difference when you're writing. So I try tried it out on the Huawei MatePad paper and there's a big difference. So I think I'm going to upgrade to the third generation on the MatePad paper as well. Also it features lower latency, higher precision and there are two tips included. Now the tip of the M pencil can simply be unscrewed. So there is a transparent tip and there is a white tip here as you can see. Now the transparent tip I think is better for um, painting and it's also a little bit thinner and the white tip is a little bit softer and more flexible and it's smoother for writing. So make sure to check it out on what tip fits you better when you're testing it out. But if you have the old Huawei M pencil on your tablet, I would really recommend trying out the third generation because it just feels a lot different. Now guys, I just mentioned near link before. So let me quickly explain it in a few words because it's something really important and then you will understand why this pen works that great. So Nearlink is a new wireless technology that has been introduced at the Huawei Developer Conference 2023. So it's developed by Huawei and it made it already in the Huawei Mate 60 series. It's also being used here in the MatePad Pro 13.2 and Nearlink basically combines the low power connectivity provided by Bluetooth and the high speed connection like Wi-Fi. So Nearlink can connect 10 times more devices than Wi-Fi 6 and consumes also less than half of the power of Bluetooth. And the latency is only 20 microseconds. So that's a much lower latency than Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 6. And that means that the pen here is very, very fast. There's almost no latency when you're drawing. Now the M pencil attaches magnetically to the tablet and it also charges um, through this connection here. And it is a pretty strong connection, so you don't need to worry about losing it. It will also automatically connect, as you can see, show the charging state, and then you can just simply take it off and start using it. You can use the M pencil in the menu or you can just open up something like Huawei Notes and start 
taking notes or start to draw something and it is pretty simple and it is so so smooth and even though this is a huge tablet on cheap tablets um, the palm rejection is really bad that means if you put your palm on there um, you will actually get some ghost touches in this area but here on the tablet you can see I can put my hand however I want to on it and it will not get any ghost touches down in the region where my hand is because it detects hey that's a palm and it's waiting for the input of the pen and it is so so smooth now the drawing experience on this now I cannot really draw so I'm really bad in this so please uh, <laughs> keep that in mind um, I did some sketches with my daughter though and it was a lot of fun so it is very smooth it is very accurate um, you have plenty of tools here for drawing there are so many apps um, in the app gallery for drawing but also in other stores you can use any app you want to I'm not sure which one um, professionals use but anyhow I had really fun in sketches or simply in Huawei notes just to draw something and the input from this pen it is absolutely gorgeous it is so smooth and it feels like super fast and comparing this to the old AM pencil this was a huge wow effect even on the Huawei made pet paper all right but that are not all the accessories there is also the Huawei smart magnetic keyboard which is compatible with the MatePad Pro. So let me quickly show you the features. All right, so first of all, the Huawei M Pencil doesn't use Bluetooth for the connection, so it works also when Bluetooth is turned off, but the keyboard needs Bluetooth connection, so make sure Bluetooth is turned on. And when, when you turn on Bluetooth and you have it paired, it will automatically connect to the Huawei keyboard. So um, the Huawei keyboard, um, it attaches magnetically to the back of the device and then you can already start using it. And the keyboard features a touchpad which is really smooth and is super fast and it also supports gestures as you can see so with two fingers and it's a huge touchpad area so it just feels like you would be using a laptop. The keyboard has very shallow key travel but feels very comfortable to type so it's, it's not hard, it's kind of soft on the touches and also it is not really noisy. So the keyboard is already really cool, but when you buy the keyboard, it also includes this stand. Now you have this thing here. This is also the protection for the back. So let me quickly adjust this. As you can see, this here fits um, the keyboard. And also here it will protect your back. And also after that, um, it is completely flat. So the camera is not popping out anymore. And here on the back, you can flip this up and use it as a stand. And then you can flip um, here the keyboard down and use it like kind of a laptop. But also the angle can be adjusted so you can have it like in studio mode for drawing like this. And it, it, the keyboard feels just really perfect. So it protects the device, the keyboard feels good, the touchpad is nice. And I think um, when you buy the tablet, you should also be looking into the keyboard because it doesn't only protect um, the tablet as a cover, it's also a stand plus a keyboard. So pretty three-in-one multifunctional. All right, so let's check it out. And the tablet is running Harmony OS, but that doesn't mean that you're completely locked in Huawei's ecosystem and you cannot install any apps because I'll just show you in a second that getting apps on the main product in general Huawei devices, it is very simple. Now it features all the necessary things, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, but there is no mobile network because there is no um, SIM card slot here. It also has the same like on the phones, the super device function, and um, let's check out the display settings because here it gets interesting for the first time. Now you can um, set the screen refresh rate. So you can leave it on dynamic, which is probably the best for the battery because it balances between um, cranking up um, the refresh rate of the display and the battery life. So when you need a faster um, display, it will actually crank it up to a maximum of 144 Hertz. And when you don't need it, if you're just reading something, it will keep it lower. Now this gives you the best um, results in terms of battery performance. You can also set it to high and this display supports 144 Hertz, so just like a, a modern gaming monitor. Also um, at medium, it runs at 120 Hertz, which is still super smooth. And if you want to save power, you can just turn it down to 60 Hertz. So I kept it most of the time in dynamic, which um, gives you a really smooth experience. And when you need it, it will actually crank up um, the refresh rate. 
Also, there is smart resolution, so it's basically the same thing, but just for the display resolution. It will lower it sometimes if not needed, and if it's needed, it will crank it up. But if you always want to have the highest resolution, you can just turn this feature off. Also, it's in color calibrated display, very natural tones. You can switch also on here natural tone, which will depend on the ambient light, make sure that the colors are as natural as possible. And of course, there is manual tweaking if you want to, you can adjust the color temperature however you want. Also, you have presets, default, warm and cool, and also two presets between normal color mode and vivid color mode. I think this is very important, especially for artists, that they have a proper calibrated good display and display on this device is just simply stunning. That's all I have to say about it. In terms of biometrics, um, it supports either um, face recognition or it supports um, the passcode. There is no fingerprint scanner built in, but honestly, um, don't really need that because face recognition is nowadays already really good. In terms of battery life, battery life is absolutely mind-blowing on this thing. So even um, if I just put it in here in power saving mode, I would get 35 hours remaining runtime. Guys, I charged this device now once and this was like a week ago. After my test, I still 35% battery. So the battery here um, on this device is absolutely crazy. And even if you have to charge it with the 88 watt wired supercharging, it is really, really fast. So if you swipe down here from the top, you will get the usual control panel for your connections, for your display brightness. Also, if you swipe this down, there are more things hidden here, like a screen recorder. You can easily record the whole screen. And um, also there is a navigation dock if you want to. That's that little thing here, which you can drag around if, if you need that, for instance, for accessibility reasons. And also there is a native dark mode in Harmony OS. So that's what everyone likes to keep it in dark, but for the filming here, it's better to keep it bright. And also there is multi-screen collaboration. Like if you have a Huawei smartphone, you can bring the screen in on the tablet and also drag and drop things. So it's pretty crazy and supports also Huawei Share or um, even a quick button here to take a screenshot. But also there's a really cool feature on the tablet. If you knock like this, <laughs> it does a screenshot. So especially for working, this is just so much faster. You just tap the tablet and boom, it takes a screenshot. Now, um, let's talk about apps, because apps is something that's really important for many people. And still many people um, have the misconception that apps are not available on Huawei devices or certain apps are not available. That's actually not true, because there are so many ways on how to get apps on Huawei devices. First of all, we have the app gallery. So it's really crazy what Huawei did with the app gallery. Huawei basically started at zero at nothing and they now expanded it to a huge ecosystem with millions of users. Also right now um, many new apps are already in there so most of the apps I'm actually using, Telegram, browsers etc. You can find in there even banking apps fully supported so also my bank then the net banking works perfectly fine. Um, if you cannot find an application here in the app gallery you can actually check out Petal Search this is the search engine that's pre-installed on Huawei devices. And once you open that up, it is um, a search engine where you can search for basically everything. You can just search the web or you can simply um, search also for an application. So let's search here for Netflix. Now it will automatically detect, hey, you're searching for an app and it will suggest you, do you want to download Netflix? And here you can see from where you're downloading it, for instance, APK Pure, Aptoid or wherever. And also um, Petal Search will only show you verified and safe sources. So you can download it directly from here by pressing the install button. It will then take you here to APK Pure already initiate the download. So it, it got so simple, it will download the APK. And once the APK is downloaded, um, it will start installing it. You just have to allow installs from the browser and boom, there you go, app is installed. Now, if the app is not in there, you still have the option of just using Gbox. Now, Gbox is like a sandbox on Huawei um, devices um, where you can run the Google Play Store. And yes, it sounds pretty crazy, but it is really simple. So you just search for Gbox in the Huawei app gallery and there you can download it. Now, Gbox is a really nice solution as it's a kind of sandbox mode. It runs all your Google apps in there and there is even the Google Play Store. So with the Google Play Store, you can download all the applications you want to. Even if some applications you can not find in the app gallery, 
you cannot find of Petal Search. You can simply install Gbox and just go to the Google Play Store and download whatever you want to. Now let me show you a little bit of the user interface and multitasking. So Harmony OS is super customizable, there are different themes, plenty of beautiful wallpaper packs you can just simply apply with um, one tap and it's very simple to use. So you get used to it just within one day. And also um, multitasking is really intuitive right now. So if you swipe up from the top, you get an overview from all the apps that are also running in the background. And if you want to have one app as a window somewhere while you do something else, you can just um, do it by tapping on that symbol right over here and it pops out as a window. Now, also now there are different formats for the windows right now. So you can make a 16 by 9 by 16, you can make 3 by 2, 4 by 3. So by just dragging it around the screen, it is so simple. You can also place it anywhere you want to. Now, let's say you want to split the screen. This is also super simple to do. First of all, you choose one of the applications you want to have in split screen mode. So for instance, let's um, pick here Huawei Notes and then um, we just choose to have it as a pop-up window. Now we open up the second application, for instance, the browser, and now we bring back the um, pop-up window, we hold here, and then we can choose on which side of the display we want to have it. And it is as simple as that. So on the right side, you can have the browser, you can have some PDF, you can watch a movie, and on the left side, you can take, for instance, some notes about it. And there are many things you can do, also it works, even I had games on the right side, had some other things on the left side, so it is pretty cool. And the best thing is, you can just also um, adjust the size of the windows. So as you can see, I can just drag this around here like this and make one window bigger or smaller. Also, I want to quickly show you Huawei Notes because this program is really great. It is pre-installed, you don't need to buy any Note program and it is kind of beautiful. It's very customizable as you have different um, notepads, as you can see, which you can customize. You can also customize um, the sheets, as you can see. So for instance, for writing, for more um, drawings, technical drawings, whatever. And it has pretty cool features like for instance, also this mode here, which allows you to just draw some shapes and it will automatically correct them here to perfect circles or squares or even triangles. So for drawing a plan or something, or even for some technical drawings, this is absolutely amazing. And also the pen input here in Huawei Notes, it is super fast. You have plenty of options for pens, pencils, whatever. And this is really great to take notes and also do some technical drawings, for instance. But there is also um, Mojang Paint, which I checked out, and this is pretty cool. So first of all, um, in this application you can draw, there are unlimited possibilities. And second of all, when you open it up, it will also show a video like how you um, were drawing the draft with every single brush, every layer, it saves basically everything. In here, you can see you have so many pencils and I'm really not good at drawing, but it is so much fun to draw with this. Also, the pressure sensitivity is so good. So for instance, fine line, then here thick line. The M Pencil third generation with um, combined with um, the software that runs here on Harmony OS, it is just really a pleasure to create something. Now, I'm not really a creator for drawing, but I can imagine what are the possibilities for creative people. All right, so that's it regarding the M Pencil and the features in Harmony OS. Now guys, what's also really amazing is the gaming performance or the performance in general. So we're playing here in Ultra HDR, so really the highest settings, and it is really smooth. So let's jump out of the plane, tap to jump, and there we go. And as you can see, gaming on the tablet feels absolutely smooth. Even games like PUBG, Genshin Impact, everything that in the highest graphic settings is not a problem at all. So you're looking at a very powerful tablet that can play all kinds of Android games in um, the highest resolution, highest graphics without any problem. The same also goes for video editing and there is a cool app, it's called Petal Clip. 
Now this app is from Huawei, it's pre-installed and I do a lot of video editing and I use CapCut but I realized that Petal Clip has the same features, has even more features like mask faces with one tap and some really cool features and um, it is completely free. So CapCut Premium costs money but Petal Clip is actually a really good video editing app that also has plenty of transitions in there all for free where you don't have to pay anything extra. So it got all the zoom transitions, wipe, fault, geometry, PPT, classical. So you have plenty of cool things. It also gets developed on the way. So there are more features coming, easy um, stabilizer for clips. So it's a really cool video editing app. And also here you see the performance of the tablet because if I do this on an iPhone, for instance, there is always in CapCut maybe a little bit of delay, but here on the tablet, absolutely smooth and amazing here to go through the clips. And those are really big clips filmed with my camera, with microscope and stuff like this. And it is doing a really good job. So overall, the performance of the tablet is pretty good. It doesn't really get hot even while it's charging and you're playing something. So performance wise, this tablet is also a real beast. All right. Now that was the overview um, from the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2. I really hope you liked it. And now let's come to my final conclusion. So guys, we're now here at the end of this review and I try to keep it simple and short because the video was a bit longer, but there are so many nice um, use cases with this tablet um, that just totally change your workflow and make you think differently. And now I really see um, the use case of a tablet because after exploring it with the MatePad Pro 13.2, I really do see also for my work there would be some big improvements, especially for scripting while you're reading something, taking notes. Also pedal clip for bulk video editing with a large screen. And also it's the slimmest and also most lightweight tablet I've seen in this category of 13.2 tablets. It is really mind blowing. In the beginning, I was a bit scared. Uh, can I maybe break it? But it's also very, very stable. So it's always kind of mind blowing when Huawei releases new products, like how they are kind of leading the industry with it, because I think that's the way to go if you're looking for a tablet. Now, of course, it's a little bit different than let's say conventional Android tablets, but you get used to it very fast. Harmony OS is really down to the basics. You find everything really fast. Um, it maybe just takes you one or two days to get used to all the settings and how to get the apps, but also with Gbox, with Petal Search, with um, the app gallery, you can basically run everything on the tablet. Overall, um, it really surprised me. Um, the M Pencil, the case, everything fits perfect together. So I would definitely recommend it to at least have a look if you're considering buying a high-end tablet. All right, guys, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask and I will try to reply as soon as possible. And as always, guys, big thanks for watching here until the end and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye.